Hi everybody, I'm Lanny Morton. I'm creator of the Six Minutes to Success uh, website. And today's a big day. It's 4th of July here in the United States of America, so we're celebrating our Independence Day. But it's also an important day for another reason. In Rome right now, Bob Proctor is there, and it's officially July 5th in Rome, which means it's Bob Proctor's 75th birthday. Uh, seven years ago, I took Bob Proctor's SGR class. I actually found the book this morning. When I took that class, I was, I was flat broke. I mean, we're talking unbelievably broke. I didn't have $20. I was actually driving a, a $280 minivan that I didn't even pay cash for. I actually traded two sets of golf clubs. And uh, I mean, was, I'm so excited about what's happened over the last seven years. So, Bob, I'm grateful. And for you six minutes users, and, and for non-users alike, this is the first time we've released a six minutes video outside of the system for people that aren't involved in the program. So this is for everybody to enjoy. So Bob, happy birthday. You have the day off, but the show must go on. Hi, my name is Bob Proctor. How are you doing today? You know, one of the things about life is, is that all of us have the ability to do more, to have more, and to experience more, and to leave our mark. I saw a movie with Jack Nicholson, and the title of the movie was, it was called About Schmidt. And, and, and this guy, he lived a, a humdrum life. He, he really did not live up to his true potential. He did not accomplish the things that he wanted to accomplish. And he had a little boy that he'd adopted in Africa named Induku. He wrote him a variety of letters when he would send a contribution and, and express all of his frustrations about his life and all of his anger. And he said something at the end of the movie that really grabbed me. Now, I saw this movie at least six or seven times, and I missed it. Have you ever seen a movie, and, and after you've seen it several times, then you see something that you didn't see before? That happens with me all the time when I see Forrest Gump, which is my all-time favorite movie. Well, in this letter that, that he wrote to Nduku, he said, Nduku, when you die, and everyone you know dies, unless you've done something significant with your life, it will be as if you were never born. Whoa. When I heard that, that grabbed me. Oliver Wendell Holmes said that most men and women go to their graves with their music still in them. I want to talk to you about live full, die empty. See, you have greatness within you. You have the ability to do more than you can ever begin to imagine. And to prove that you have greatness within you, you were chosen one out of 400 million sperm. I submit to you that God had something in mind when he said, I want you. Now just think about that. Now I want you to think about your goals. I want you to think about your dreams. Something that will give your life a sense of value and meaning and something that will make your life significant. I want you to think about goals in your personal life, your professional life, and what will your social contribution be? I want you to think about those and whatever they are, I want you to expand them. I found that most people fail in life not because they aim too high and miss, no. Most people fail in life because they're just like I was for so many years. I aim too low and hit, okay? So I want you to think about your goals and here's what I want you to say with me, with conviction, it's possible. That's right. It's possible. See, if anybody at any point in time had a goal, had a dream that they wanted to achieve and they made it happen, then it's possible that you can achieve your goals, that you can achieve your dreams. And when we begin to look at our lives and just observe life, when you look at President Barack Obama, let me share something. The mindset of everybody should be anything's possible. <laughs> to tell you don't rule anything out for yourself it's time to raise the bar on yourself because when you have that mindset that it's possible then you also develop the mindset that it's necessary and when you know that it's necessary then you begin to know that it's you George Washington Carver said do the best you can with all that you have and never be satisfied it's possible it's necessary it's you you got greatness within you you showed up with some stuff that we need bring it on out here we're waiting for you this has been bob proctor it's been a plum pleasing pleasure as well as a privilege <laughs> oh my god i love this i know you think you've been drinking today <laughs> That's the six minutes of success for you. <laughs> well, I hope you enjoyed that video as much as I did. And uh, we just want to thank Les Brown for doing that video. Also, I want to tell you, 
I talked to Bob yesterday and we came up with something special for you. And I'm not going to tell you what it is until tomorrow, but if you want an email tomorrow, we decided to do something special for Bob's birthday. It's, it's kind of a thank you to all of you guys who have been supporting us in the six minute system. So if we don't want to bug you, but if you want to get, you know, see what this special surprise is, go ahead and uh, click the button down there. Give us your email address. Uh, we're not going to bug you. Uh, we will send you an email, let you know what we're doing. But we have a special surprise for you for Bob's birthday. If you want to get it, go ahead and opt in right there. Thank you so much, and uh, have a great time with your family over this 4th of July holiday. Uh, thank you very much.